I'm on my own, broken along. I feel the rain crashing down. All around this empty town. Welcome to Should They Saturday. Welcome if you're just tuning in now. Be sure to leave a like, subscribe. Here goes the title of this video. Should Doug Marone be fired if the Jacksonville Jaguars have a losing season this season? Mike, I'll let you take it away. We'll go right down the line, maybe. Did you We're... watch my Jaguars video? Yes, I did. I you remember. should be fired right, right now. Doug Marone is terrible. Freaking guy's head coaching record is 37 and 45. That tells you his story. Can't control his team. Locker room's flipping out. Get rid of this bum. I don't know what Jacksonville's waiting for. I hear you. Here, here's my thing with Doug Marone. I'll, I'll, I'll take my stance. Got lucky once with Blake the Snake Bortles. And other than that, nothing. Look, here's, here's my thing, honestly, with Doug Marone. Doug Marone had a great team. Had a great team. Great defense. Let's go with that, right? Yeah. His offense struggled. Blake Bortles, I mean, he wasn't going anywhere. We all knew that. I mean, he, he helped them get the I, I know that, but, Mike, they weren't prepared to win. Blake Bortles wasn't prepared to win. Or if he was, he would still be a starter in this league. Doug Marone brought a team. He built a team. He showed that he can make a team. problem with Doug Marone is... He built a team full of cancers in the locker room. I mean, honestly, think Doug, about Doug Leonard Marone Fournette. Probably didn't build it. Let's think though. Leonard Fournette he coached. The he's team. kind yeah, of a cancer. Built That's, for him. Yeah. AJ Boye was not really bad. I mean, I didn't really hear much from him. But Telvin Smith. Then you got uh, Jalen Ramsey, and you got all these people that just wouldn't Miles shut up yeah, and, and yeah, just yeah. talk so much. Telvin Smith got busted. Leonard Fournette is yelling about this and that. Um, Jalen Ramsey was flipping out, saying that he was the best player of all time. Blah blah blah. blah. And look at where the team is now. GM. I mean, look at the team now. The team is completely falling apart. They had to. I, I like what they did. They had to get rid of the cancer. Now they got to rebuild. Whether or not they do it with Doug Marone, I don't know. Do I think they should fire Doug Marone if they don't get a winning season? I don't think it's his fault, to be honest with you. Th this team is not supposed See, to have a winning season. Do you honestly think, yeah, right now, yeah, on paper, they, that you think they should yes. get the, you know, the talent yeah, they have? They have, they have talent at their at any position you look at. They have talent, and they they should be competing at every in the game. AFC South. You think yes. that they all have a winning season? That team yes. has, suppo has supposed to, they've they've been supposed to be winning. Exactly. The, the last few seasons, they're supposed last to be winning. Right. Seasons, that I one, agree. So the one why year, keep this guy around? Why, well, I, I agree with all that. Sorry, guys. Go ahead. Keep going. I mean, there's no reason to keep him around. Exactly. He's Look, had his opportunity. I hear you. I hear you. I, I mean, don't think he's... See, it's when you start making excuses that then you, you're like, okay, this guy's got to go. Mm -hmm. You're sitting there blaming attitudes. A good coach takes control of his locker room. I know. I hear you. He takes control of those attitudes. I think finally, Look though... Look at the Patriots. You're right, but see, they don't bring in the cancer in the first place. Or if they do, they Tom get rid of them. Antonio Brown. Antonio Brown, how long did it last? They yeah, lasted one they game, and they're like, right? and Tom Brady. I mean, Bill Belichick was on the podium. They're like, "How's Antonio Brown doing?" He's like, "They, they let a murderer. Person. A murderer worked on that team." Uh, for you're a few right, years. but they didn't know he, once he was once they once of they course, found out once anything. They found out he was a murderer. Gone because he went to jail. Well, yeah, yeah. Anything, yeah. anything, yeah. anything yeah. happened. <laughs> he worked. He won a ring. Randy Moss went there. He had a big ego problem. The that, Patriots problem. don't bring the in the Jacksonville ego Jaguars problems. organization. Isn't solid. No. no, they're you not. Need to, I you need to bring in a they're better insane. coaching staff, better personnel for this team to succeed. There's talent there, like Greg said. Yeah. There is talent there. Questionable at the quarterback position. Yeah, well, that's why I don't think they're going to win. They're not expected to win this there. year. In the AFC South, you got the Houston Texans, you got the Tennessee Titans, you got who you think might honestly win the Colts, division Colts in the Indianapolis Colts, and you got the Jacksonville Jaguars. Can you honestly sit here and tell me you think the Jacksonville Jaguars are going to yeah. have a winning season? I, I see. Could. I think they're going to lose be, twice against Houston, twice against Tennessee, and I think they're going to split Indianapolis. Listen, you might look at okay. it differently. That is Houston two, is not, four, five Houston losses right good. there. Houston is not that good. Uh, they they're have, not. They're not a powerhouse. Yes. I think they're going to. I think they're going to be like all that. All those teams in the AFC South. They all have power moves in each position that yeah. they have, but other positions, they're gone. Yeah, yeah they're like, they're good. Like they're. D line for Houston, great, right? Nope. Their linebacking court is decent. Anywhere else in that defense is not that good, except for like a, a safety. Yeah, that, that's done. Offense, what do you have? You have a good left tackle. Yeah, you, everyone knows because he got paid for how much money. Him and a quarterback. Then, I mean, then you got then you got quarterback. All right, good. Running back. Who the hell is their running back? Fortnite. David David, jo oh, oh, no, David Johnson. Houston? Yeah, David Johnson. David Johnson. David, okay. Yeah. Then you, then the receivers. I mean, they're well, they're all right. They lost so, the drive. Exactly. Like they, they got sorry. decent players, but yeah, they're not all there. We look here. It's the same thing with Tennessee everyone else except for the Colts. Titans. I truly feel like the Tennessee Titans 
We're going to run away with this division. They got a good defense. They got a good offense. They're going to do the same thing. I mean, Derrick Henry's seven See, foot tall, 400 like pounds. Right? I mean, he just runs people over. If Derrick little, Henry little is stopped, the Tennessee Titans are stopped. Okay? Yeah, but so, they got decent receivers. I remember A.J. Brown and, and Corey good. Davis. They're going to they're gonna be okay. It, we saw it in the playoffs. Tannehill struggled when it came down to it. I like oh, Tannehill. I hear, no, I like I hear him it. a lot. Yep. But... When it comes down to things, if Derrick Henry is stopped, the Tennessee Titans. But do stopped. you really expect Jay Gruden, uh, what's his name, uh, the stupid coach of the team, Doug Marone? I like Jay, I like Jay and, Gruden better than Doug Marone. And, and Gardner Mitchell to beat the Tennessee Titans. Absolutely yes. not. They were competing last year with basically the same Listen, team. Listen, okay, the Jaguars are not good. But would it surprise me? Would I be shocked if they split with the Titans? No. It's a divisional game. Exactly. Yeah, they can go either way. You Let, know. Let's say this. It, somehow, some way, they go 8-8. Eight and eight. Do they, Should they keep Doug Marone? I, th I think if Doug Marone somehow finds a way to have if, a winning record. If he has a winning season. Or even they, they, hot. They gotta I, keep him. I think if he goes 7-9, and nine, they should keep but him. I mean, this stop. team let's is just, not. If he has some kind of progress this year, he should stay. It, but if he has a game where he's getting killed and doesn't know the hell to come like, back a little bit and score points, then he's he can. hasn't been able to make adjustments. Exactly. He, he can't grab a hold of his cancerous players and get them in line. Like, Bill Belichick can. Like he, no. We've seen him do it. My thing is this. I truly feel like if Doug Marone goes three or four wins this year, can But if he gets anywhere from five to seven wins or more, man, you got to keep him. you got to let him give him time. If he gets Nick. seven or lower, I would probably if, say if they don't, that is done. rough. If they, don't, if they don't go 500, you got to fire him. How, how long are you going to leave this guy there? Well, that's my thing, too. Like, what what are you, what right now, why don't they just get rid of him now? Well, that was a sense of holding I, on to him. I don't, I don't For this understand. season, I mean, they're not going to do anything with Gardner Minshew and Doug Marone. Maybe they think I, they can. I, I think, I think that's we, my point. I think they could with Gardner Minshew and, like, the team that they're surrounding him with. I think that he could actually have, like, a, a real breakout season. Better than what he had last year yeah, yeah. with yeah. Minshew Madness. But, like, yeah. if he keep if they kept, like, that thing rolling, then, yeah. What, what, like, here's my thing. You really can't expect this team to really win a lot of games. I, I understand. Can they pull a few in? Yes, division game. Maybe they pull here one, there one. But again, a bit success story. I mean, why would the Jacksonville Jaguars organization, I know this is should they and not will they. I mean, will they? We really don't know. It depends on the organization. But let's think of it from an organizational standpoint right now. Why are they holding on to Dunbar on this season if it's like, you got to go 500 with this team or else. What the hell's the sense? They're not because going 500 what, what, this year. They're not going what's 500. What's that name? Sean? Yeah, Sean Khan. Yeah. He, he's <laughs> used to mediocrity. Financial my goal. <laughs> they got as far as they were going to get with Doug Marone when they went to the AFC Championship and lost. Mm -hmm. they're, not go, they're not going any further. It doesn't matter who you got on that team. They, yeah. Yeah. I'm just gonna, they, they lost their whole core. Everyone's yes. gone. All because you can't, you can't coach them. You I'm bring saying, somebody yeah. in there to discipline this team. That's, I'm leaving it at that. All right, this was the, I mean, That's what happened to like the Tom Coughlin and the, yep. the Giants. Yeah, I hear you. They all they had three other coaches, and now we got a brand new guy who's never been a head coach. He's always been assistant. Yeah, I mean, but, and now that team is looking halfway decent this year. Here, here's my point to you. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave it. One, one, there, one more. Bring in someone that ain't gonna take any crap. You bring them in. Here's my question to you, real fast. One more thing, so ever, the, the audience knows exactly what you want. I'll go to you two first, and I'll give you my final opinion. How many wins would you give Doug Murrow this year? I fire him stay? tomorrow. <laughs> so you don't even care about this season. He's fired no matter. If well, they make well, the how many playoffs, wins? he's got to keep his job. So how, give me a wins. How many wins? Whatever it takes to make the playoffs. So you're saying playoffs or he gone? He makes the playoffs. You can't fire that, him. That's as, le as lenient as you'll be as playoffs? Yes. So you're Mike says... Anywhere. And and I will they, but Mike says if he's the owner or, or the GM, playoffs are done. Well, no, if I was the I owner mean, or GM, I'd fire him tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, I heard. We all heard. You! I'm going to be a little hypocritical because I said if he has seven or below, fire him. But I'm going to say if he gets seven wins or more, he should stay. Okay. Because that's Again, competing level right there. I'm going to say six or higher. Reason being, why don't you just say three or higher? <laughs> because because you gotta show me that you can win some. This tough team games. wants the first pick. This is six what Doug Marone. Hey, to I'm, I'm gonna 17, tank 16 my, wins. This is what he went to the owner. He's like, we're gonna tank this season. We're gonna lose every game. You give me one year with Trevor Lawrence. <laughs> That's what you think. That's he's what saying? he said. Yeah. That's exactly so, what's going on. Yeah, but so you're but you're saying I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't trust this oh, guy at all with my uh, life. What is you're he saying done? seven wins or nothing. I'm gonna say six wins, or I would fire him because you gotta show me that you can compete with some good teams. 
and, and that's all. You can get six wins. I mean, you're right there. Weren't even any good. I mean, they were good enough. All right. Eating last year. Yeah, that's all. Sign up now, Nitchy 4x4. Mike D, 3232. There you go. See you guys next time. Peace from Should They Saturday. See you guys soon. Peace.